Hey guys, Josiah here from thinkorswim.net. I'm just gonna walk you through setting up the earnings um, indicator package that's available on the site today. And so I just wanna dive into that and show you uh, the, the things you need to be aware of to get those set up. Um, so when you place your order, you'll receive an email and you'll be taken to a page at the end of the process that looks that shows some links that look kind of like this. So you might have one for the scan, the column, the indicator, and so forth. And so for each of those, um, you'll there. These are thinkorswim sharing links that allow you to import the scripts into your system. Um, some browsers don't seem to like it when you click these links, um, like Chrome on a Mac at least. Uh, seems it, it pulls up the the script, but it tells you you need to reinstall thinkorswim to uh, to view the custom watch list column. Um, Sometimes that happens. Sometimes it'll even give you a 404 error saying there's nothing there at that link. Um, it's, it's really just a problem with compatibility with the browser. It, the links are just fine if that happens to you. Just ignore that. Uh, you can either switch to a different browser, like here's Safari, and when I click that, um, it should pull it up here and said, yeah, so the button now says open in Thinkorswim. So I'll click that, and most users will be able to do this if they have a browser that's compatible with these links. Uh, you just click the button and it says the think script has been saved as and so you just give it a, a name that you'll remember easy earnings column and click OK and now the item is into your system here um, so Safari works with these links when when you click on them Chrome sometimes has trouble with them so if you if your browser has trouble with them tells you to reinstall thinkorswim or just gives you some type of error like a 404 or something instead of doing the uh, instead of clicking the link directly just select it hit copy and then go up here into the setup menu in the top right corner of thinkorswim and click open shared item and paste it in there and you hit preview hit open and it says it's been saved as this is the same window that it showed when you clicked on it earlier so I'll give it a name that I'll remember uh, easy uh, earnings call two or call one alright and so that imports it into my system so then you would go through the same process for each of these just copy them into that setup open shared item menu and that will bring the scripts into your system then um, to pull up the columns in a watch list, like uh, say on a sidebar watch list, or you can pull it up in the quotes um, under market watch. Um, but I usually use them personally on the sidebar. So to pull them up here, you would right click the column header and click customize. And as I have several different versions here that I've uh, imported, uh, but I'll just show you these, you basically just search for them in the list here with this field or what, under whatever you named it uh, during import and then double click it or click click it and click add items uh, to um, to send that uh, available column over onto the active columns list and then click OK and so then you see that it adds these two columns one for the number of bars until earnings and uh, one for the, the actual earnings date. So this will um, highlight red when today's, uh, the most recent bar is the earnings date, yellow when you're within a certain um, threshold number of bars until earnings, and you can change that by clicking, uh, right clicking the header and clicking edit form, uh, change that to whatever you need it to be from, uh, I think it's set to five by default, you can change it to 10 or whatever you need. Um, to set up the uh, indicators. You'll just click the studies menu, edit studies, or you can click on the studies shortcut here and it'll pull up the edit studies and strategies menu or window. And then you would just type in earnings and find the two that you've imported under whatever name, what, under whatever name you gave it during import. Add selected and click OK. And so now it's added the label up here and the uh, chart indicator showing you the um, the date of earnings that's upcoming and the earnings uh, in the past so you can kind of get a, an idea how it usually performs during earnings 
The only thing about this, this particular chart indicator is uh, you can see here that I have some expansion area over here into the future where there's no, no bars printed yet. This is really important for this particular indicator and for the label. You need to go into your chart settings by clicking on the gear icon or by going into style settings and then you would go to the time axis tab here and make sure that this expansion area setting uh, has enough bars into the future where it would be able to find the next earnings date. So I put 60 in there and expanded some more. I can put it down to 30 uh, if I don't want to look too far into the future. So that one, that's where it's set to 30. And so this, this next earning date is, is just barely within 30 days or 30 bars. And, and that's also important to remember that is that this is actually bars depending on what type of chart you're on. Right now we're on a daily chart. And so each bar is uh, worth one trading day. Uh, not a calendar day, a trading day. Uh, but if you switch to, say, a four-hour chart, um, it will actually not, not show the next earnings because it's off the expansion area. So, uh, and it says there's 30 bars until earnings, but it's actually more than that because we just haven't loaded more than 30 bars into the future. So in order to still be able to display that, we need to go back into the time axis and change that to something a lot larger so it'll pull in enough four hour bars to find the next earnings date. And so you can see that that worked there. Uh, and it says now 52 bars until earnings, 52 four hour bars until earnings and the next earnings date. So just be aware of that. Um, uh, you'll need to set that expansion area setting on your chart so that it will be able to find the next earnings date. Um, as far as the scan, you can just go over here to Stock Hacker or onto your sidebar itself as well and pull up the scan under your list of personal scans um, under whatever name you gave it. And you can pull it up here as well under uh, this little menu. Click Load Scan Query and find, it, find the name in your alphabetical list here of personal scans. And then click it and that will load it up here in this uh, Stock Hacker window. Now the earnings, uh, this is kind of just a, a easy... Um, scan that will uh, quickly pull up uh, stocks that have no earnings have or do not have earnings within the next uh, 10 bars or whatever you set it to here. You can adjust any of these settings. They come with some default price and average volume settings. They also are set to all optionable stocks and you can remove that filter if you don't want only optionable stocks. Um, I find those are a little more liquid and also a lot of swing traders like optionable stocks. Um, so I think that should explain everything. Just any changes you make here, make sure you go up here and click Save Scan Query to override it and save the changes. Apply the changes for next time you load it. Um, but anyway, that should be it. And if you have any questions, as always, you can uh, send us an email on the website. Thanks, and we'll talk to you soon.